Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunt's Breakfast with Kudu Loops. All right, so in the last episode, the Black Plague came a knocking into our lands. I think I said that before, but you know what? Whatever. It's fine. I'm kind of distracted by the Black Plague. Too distracted, in fact, to even think about my own commentary right now. So yeah, um, uh, apparently there's been a successful Great Holy War for Lithuania. Fantastic. That was very creepy. I don't know how this nine-year-old kid managed to make a noise like a grown-ass man. Good grief. And my wife is dead. Son of a bitch. She died clutching at her heart. Right, I'm fairly certain um, it was compounded by the fact that we've been starving our asses off. And there goes my other Mirza daughter. Fantastic. Dang. Thankfully, we're still making money, though. So that's awesome. Urza Hesp? Sure, be just. a boy. Built some stables in Lampara. Fantastic. Otherwise, you know what? I think we're going to have to stay wifeless for a little bit. Just until we weather this. And we also lost a diviner. Dang, Nabbit, guys. Fine. Nard, why don't you be my new diviner? Oh, shit. My Grand Vizier has a plague. What the hell, man? Complaints about the cats will not end. An angry mob has gathered claiming that cats are the bringers of bad luck and cannot be allowed to roam the streets. Cats seem mostly healthy. Get rid of all the cats. This is absurd. Go home. Um... You know what? I'm not a huge fan of cats myself, personally. So I'm actually okay with getting rid of cats. Get out of here, cats. Yurin has gotten the news of my decision to remove all the cats. Surely cats that are perfectly healthy should not be harmed. I could not accept that, she says. I'm sorry, Yurin. Even your cats. Boom. Get out of here with your cats, Yurin. Ah, you son of a bitch. Dang nabbit. Okay, let's stay on top of this. Uh, we're going to give this kingdom a way to... Ooh, hoo, hoo. Uh, let's give it to this guy, who's also content. He looks content. All right, and we also need to get to, need to give away Sistan. Wait, what happened to the last guy who owned Sistan? Oh, dead as shit. Got it. All right, you're kind of the only adult around here, so have fun with Sistan. Fantastic. <sighs> Why the fuck do I care? Oh, he's the father of my lover that I kicked out of my court. Right. Okay. Yep, Bew Bew, I don't give a rat's ass. What the fuck kind of name is Bew Bew, by the way? Could have at least named yourself Pew Pew. That would have been more fun. Kanzir? You know what? I'm just gonna go um, diplomat less for a little bit. Because they don't want them to uh, catch disease and all that shit. Shit. Uh, Sir Khan Kabulid, probably a daughter of mine, um, has been showing symptoms of illness. She might have contracted the plague, but of course, nothing is certain. Get out of here, little kid. Be temperate. Oh, you suck, Gundes. Harvest is dead. I don't really know who the hell you are. Probably another son of mine. <laughs> oh, and there goes my uh, last concubine slash lover. Damn. No, let's not eat a little kid. He's only three years old. He doesn't have a lot of meat on his bones anyways. Hambiz <sighs> is dead. Groaning very creepily in my ear like a fucking pervert. Okay, so I think it's actually starting to rescind up north here. <laughs> Weiming Chan is also dead. Frapola. It's killing everyone. No! Bubaladang! No! Shit. I wish I could have appointed them as uh, commanders here. But unfortunately, I can't because we've shut the gates and all that crap. Uh. Zeri is also dead. 
Ah, at this rate, no one's gonna be left alive. <laughs> That's okay though, because we'll uh, we'll survive all this, and of course we'll just be able to bang our way back into existence. Um, I guess stewardship Ong. Binar is dead. Yeah, it looks like it's actually starting to rescind a little bit, which is great news. Peasant accused of murders dragged before your court. His wife and children were found butchered in the small hut they call home, and he was standing nearby covered in their blood. Despite this damning evidence, the man continued to profess his innocence. What should be done with him? Um, don't we have more pressing concerns right now? You know what? Let's do him a favor. Let's just hang him so that he doesn't have to deal with this nonsense. Raresh is also dead. <laughs> Why are people vomiting themselves to death while they're starving? Maybe that's actually a part of starvation, I don't know. Persia ravaged by plague. Wow, what took you so long to realize that? Saiyan, you will not go Super Saiyan in our stomachs. And I've inherited Nubia back. Look. Dude, I don't even know why you're dead. Fucking Black Plague hasn't even hit this place and your stupid ass died. You jerk. Right, I'm gonna give you... Yeah, he's got the better stats. I'm gonna give you the uh, Duchy of... Of, 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 of... That place. And the kingdom... Shall be granted to you as well. You lucky bastard. Have fun with that shit. Don't disappoint me. Like my children, who are dying off in droves. Nistiman, I don't know who you are. Diplomacy diplomacy seems to be your bag. Stop groaning in my ear, you fucking perverts. Good grief. Guy was wearing a milkmaiden hat. Even creepier. Dang nabbit. Okay, supply limit, 5,000, 18,000. Kanzir is dead too. Shit. Dang nabbit. Oh no. <laughs> oh fuck. Boring Mad Mad is dead. <laughs> Who the hell is Boring Mad Mad again? I don't even remember. Oh, good grief. They're all dying. Everyone's dying. Oh, there goes Mary. There's another one that I wanted to fuck. She's dead too. Oh, ho, 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 man. Wow, somehow Africa has been completely spared. Good grief. Alright, look, it's it's starting to rescind a little bit. Osiosis Beniosis has survived so far and has become a brilliant strategist. Fantastic. Please survive. Please survive, okay? Just a little bit longer. Look, look, it's starting to rescind. We're gonna be okay. We're, we're almost out of the woods. Just hang in there, guys. Gundes has become Midas touched. Do I give a rat's ass? No. Why? Because she's fucking dull as crap. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. We're almost there. We can do it. I believe, Osiosis Beniosis. Your name is ridiculous. Come on, Kabul. Come on, you can do it. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, stop trying to eat children, damn it! I woke up this feeling and I realized I had lost my feelings for my lover, Agostina. Well, she's not even, like, fucking here. Oh wait, no, she's actually not that far. Uh, let's try to rekindle our love, I guess? Not that it really matters. Um... Party of soldiers flying the banner of Chief Zasayar of... Recently set up camp in the middle of a field belonging to a farmer in Kabul. According to the farmer, their camp fire spread out of control and his entire crop was reduced to ashes. He has brought the matter before your court and demands compensation. I will pay out of my own coffers. And that has made me an amateur steward. Not exactly what I want, I just want my uh, just, uh, sorry, arbitrary to go away. Yes! Yes! Open the gates! Open the gates and breathe in this foul stench of dead peasantry. Oh, damn, we survived. I mean, no, it's not really that surprised that I survived, but I'm saying that Osiosis Beniosis has survived and all that crap, too. 
Guys, uh, can we not be starving? There we go. We're not starving anymore. Fantastic. Okay, so let's appoint my Viceroy as my Chancellor. And you, buddy from Delam, you can be our new steward. Have fun. And all that shit. Should we have our Sun Guardian proselytize? I suppose we could, but uh, I guess it's not really that big of a concern right now. And we regained Persia. This guy died from not the plague. He died from cancer. Um... Um... What? The hell, man. I guess it would have been easier for me to... Eh, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I suppose the better thing would have been to actually just get into, um... Re well, to revoke all his shit, but eh, it's fine. I don't really care. You want me to observe the night sky? Fuck off. Okay. Well, that backfired. Not great. Okay, so supply limit is looking rather shoddy in a lot of these places. Areas by the river tend to be fairly decent, but areas that are not by the river, the supply limit is absolute ass. Okay, is it actually going to make landfall in um, Africa or not? Apparently, this son of a bitch has been talking behind my back. What a complete and utter tool. Uh, I believe she's one of my bastard daughters. Exposed. Okay, can I land my troops there or no? Okay, the supply limit there is atrocious. Just the worst. 20,000 isn't actually all that bad. It's actually really good for a place that's been hit by the Black Plague. Some kid that is completely unrelated to me is fucking going through my uh, letters. Get out of my face! Stop fucking... Now I'm teaching the kid how to read. What the hell is my life? I don't know why I'm so full of um, piss and vinegar right now. But I guess it's mostly because of the uh, stress from the Black Plague and all that crap. Okay, um... So as expected, supply limit is completely just been devastated. Kind of looking at areas where we border the uh, Western Protectorate where we can possibly attack them. There's some spots where we might be able to get there easily enough, but that being said, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if now is a good time to uh, attack China. I kind of get the feeling that attacking China is going to be an all-episode ordeal. Um, so we should probably try to do that at the beginning of an episode. We could actually ask for an imperial marriage for ourselves. And apparently we have re-inherited the Shadow of Yemen. Great. That's absolutely peachy. What if we make this guy the... Shadow of Yemen? Considering how small Yemen is, I actually wouldn't mind trying this out. Okay, so now he's the king of Yemen, and he's also a merchant republic. I'm hoping this results in some uh, good stuff, but we'll see. And you know, what? you know what? Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the fact that most of us survived, or some of us survived, um, by holding a festival of the sun. Fantastic. A few days ago, Neophyte Kegelbad told me that he had written a paper on Thurgic Rituals and handed me a copy to review it. Reading through it, it is apparent that it makes some excellent, very, some very excellent and intriguing points. Do I see fit to endorse it? Yep, definitely. And you're not going to uh, come to my Festival of the Sun? Well, I know who the uh, traitor is in our realm. Fantastic. Yep, exposed. Rezun! And can I also be just now, please? 
Weiming? Are you my daughter? As in, can I fuck you? Possibly. Alright, speaking of uh, fucking, uh, let's go ahead and find ourselves a new wife. But before we do... Anyone out there who's a bear, perhaps? Any female horses out there who are not horses? Apparently not. Alright, fair enough. Then how about I just go for a genius lady? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, wait a minute. She's pregnant, though. You can't have that. Hmm. I'm actually kind of wondering if we should do what we did before, where we would marry for stats and just have lovers and concubines. Just to get ourselves a good heir. But I think Osiosis Beniosis is our heir right now. So I suppose we don't actually need to find a genius lady, or is, yeah, we don't actually need to find a genius lady. Just need to find a lady. With good stats. Kind of tempted to go with this lady here. Um, Venla here already comes with uh, uh, Syphilis pre-installed, which is awesome. Otherwise, her stats are slightly better than hers. Hmm. What about Sir? No, you know what? We should try to look for the Sioux ladies. She's a dwarf. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, let's try to go for the Sioux ladies here. Hey, buddy. Do you have any daughters that are currently not married to dudes? That I can bring over and um, bang mercilessly? I mean, in a consensual way, of course. I don't. I didn't mean for that to sound so... Uh, Violent or uh, forceful. Baoming is another candidate. She is 21 years old. Uh, oh no, she's got a husband still. Where is he though? Oh, Mauritania. So he might die. I don't know why she looks so sad. She looks so sad. Nizzy. No, garbage stats. Let's try to go for someone who's at least got some decent stats here like uh, Su Yingwu. Mm hmm. Yeah, no. You know what? I think we're gonna go with uh, Su Yingwu. Where is she? No, that's Shun. That's the really sad looking lady. Can I plot to get this guy killed? I obviously can't bring her to my court right now. What if I bring him to my court? Is that possible at all? Let's give that a try. See how he responds. Come to my court, please. You son of a bitch. I want your wife, man. I really want your wife. We might actually be able to uh, kill him. Oh, hello. Yeah, you know what? This might work. We might actually be able to kill this guy. Seems like you're not very popular, mister. What have you been doing? Pissing in people's cornflakes? Generally what I do to uh, piss people off. Apparently we've inherited Siri as well. Yep, no surprise as to why. Uh, we've got this guy. We've got this guy. And that guy. Let's give it to him. Have fun. I also need to give away Persia again. Good grief. I'm actually going to give it to this guy. He's a little suspicious. But I'm just going to ignore the fact that he's Han and just give it to him. Alright, that's good. Do I have any more kingdoms that I should be giving away? Sind, Transoxiana. No, I think we're fine. And my diviner is dead. That's fine too. I'm sorry, what? Why was he executed? Well, I don't really care. 
Okay, so I think I can disband the boats now. And what about here? Okay, so I think another dude accused of crap. We become ambitious. Nice. Now I just need to lose the um, the arbitrary trait, and we should be good to uh, revert back to being a master seducer and all that crap. All right, it's starting to rescind here too. Great. I think Trapezius has its supply limit back. Fantastic. Yeah, our vassals are not very happy about the fact that we've been holding onto their boats for so long. But you know what, vassals? You can suck it. Ang, be ambitious. And let me give you a gift. Apparently, we are planning to explode that guy. Fantastic. Let's hope it actually works. And that I don't get caught. Um, there's been another succession on the Chinese throne. Fantastic. And this guy has discovered that I've been trying to kill him. I don't really care. I'll be honest with you. I don't really care. Let's do it again. The same plot. Take two. Let's hope he doesn't notice this time. And he dead. Nice. Let's buy your favor. And hope that uh, you come to my court. Died under suspicious circumstances. But no one knows that it was me. Miss? No? Invite to my court? There we go. Please come to my court. Please say yes. The peasants of Kabul are quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master suggests investing in a provincial messenger system so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. He claims that doing so would attract more peasants to the, to the county. Sure, why not? Yeah. Wait, why am I trying to marry her? Um... I guess I kind of want the truce that comes with an imperial marriage. She's also genius. But wait, we'd be having children though with her. Is that what we want? No, I don't think so. Shit. Then I should have been gunning for her this whole time. Dang, Nabbit! All that work for nothing. Damn. Let's keep her around though. I don't want her to uh, bugger off. Right. Sistan yet again. Good grief. Fine. Uh, let's go assign myself as his guardian. And once he accepts, we'll give him the vice royalty. There you go, kid. Fantastic. Alright, um... Western Protectorate is down to 13,000. Awesome. The Quinn Empire. Yeah, look at that. Huh. If we were to go to war against the Quinn Empire now, um, who would we put on the throne? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we can actually put Osiosus Beniosus on the throne. Probably because he's my direct heir. Mmm, if that's the case then, I'm actually kind of wondering if my I should have married the other lady and had some babies with her. Well, I can actually turn her into my concubine then, couldn't I? Where are you, miss? Where are you? Where is she? That's her, right? Yingwu, no? That's not Yingwu. Hmm. Alright, well, let's bring her into my court, regardless. Right, I think... I'll be honest with you, I actually don't remember what I was planning on doing with them. Uh, but whatever, it's fine. Shun, right, she's the lady. Um, I guess I can take her as a concubine, um, and have some genius babies with her. Thus making Osiosus Beniosus available for, um, candidacy on the, uh, Iron, or the Iron Throne? Yeah, this is Game of Thrones all of a sudden, on the, uh, uh, Dragon Throne. 
All right, let's do it. Let's take her as a concubine. Miss, please come to my court. Your sister is already here, so you might as well join me as I bang her uh, daily, nightly, and ever so rightly. And we'll take you as a concubine. Fantastic. Kind of wish there was an easier way to tell the supply limit without going into details here. Alright, so it's definitely improving. There's still some areas in between where the supply limit is garbage. Um, so I might need to be very, very careful about how we uh, approach our border here. Now I'm assuming... I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that they're probably going to want to attack us here where they uh, border a lot of our territory. Um, but of course, if they come in through here, I don't know, I just feel like there's less territory for them to take up here. And it's also a little less developed than uh, what I have in India. So I'm just taking a stab. I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong. In which case, it's pretty much death time for us all. Alright, so as we're gearing up for that, let's go ahead and uh, get some more retinue here. We'll go with the heavy infantry, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the right stuff. Let's go make 20 for now. Is that a good number? Possibly. Western Europe ravaged by the plague. Do I give a shit? Mm, no. No, I don't. I really don't. And let's see how much money we we're still making. My concubine Shun is pregnant. Fantastic. Let's hope we don't have to shun her. Um, I think we're still making a decent amount of money. Apparently she is a suspected demon worshipper. Burn her. She turned my friend into a newt. Did get better, but still. Alright, you know what? I think we can go ahead and make some more retinue here. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, shit. Damn, I wasn't really paying attention on uh, how many I made here. You know what? Let's just make it to the max. There we go. Don't know, don't care. Alright, um, auto balance. So we've got... Uh, that's 23 and uh, 37. 37 stacks. So I made 17 on the second batch. Fuck off with that reading of shit. Damn you. I don't care. Get out of my face. Sure. In these places where the um, where there aren't any gravestones or tombstones, I think we can safely assume that the supply limit is more or less back to normal. It seems like a lot of these places are actually, yeah, springing back. Meaning that if we really wanted to, I might actually be okay with us um, declaring war against the uh, against China in our next episode. But of course. That's... I don't know. Still iffy, isn't it? My courtier Sharox has offered to travel to the Quinn Empire on a mission to bring glory to the Zumbil Empire. Please, my lord, he says. Let a humble servant strengthen your relation with the great... Uh, the emperor of the Quinn Empire. Um... Okay. Or I can send my wife. Or I can send... My son? Uh, who the fuck is this guy? I don't know who you are. We just met and you're asking me if you can go on a journey to China. Fuck off. Ong has become Midas touched. Fantastic. Whoa. Damn, son. You know what? Let me legitimize you. Boom jams. Oh shit, he's my new heir now? Oh. Okay, um. That's great, he's also Monday. Uh. Crap. Not good. <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's fine. 
Okay, so if we invade the Quinn Empire now, we can install Osiosis Biniosis. Nice. We can also do Pluten. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. But before we do, I guess we should go ahead and get ourselves a Chinese strategist. And also probably a siege engineer. Fantastic. Quinn Yuqing. Welcome to our court, my friend. Nope. Fuck that. Alright, well, let's leave this off here for now. Um, in our next episode, may or may not be our last one. Um, as I said, I will definitely cap things off at 100 episodes max. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I really need to expand more into the Byzantine territory and all that crap. And since the uh, Black Plague is still kind of like ravaging the rest of the world. Wow. Africa was just completely spared. Somehow. Holy crap. Who'd have thought that this would be the place to survive? Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. But yeah, um... I don't know if we necessarily need to expand any more um, into like Europe and all that stuff. I think we've proven that... The, um, that Zunism is... Look, we've even colored the Sahara Desert here. Wait, when the hell did we take Algier? Hot damn. Good for you guys. Holy shit. Look at that. That looks glorious with all this painted in. So yeah, I think... I don't necessarily think that we need to expand anymore. I think we've proven to the world that we are the best and the uh, brightest and all that stuff. So now I'm actually okay with us just completely declaring war against the uh, Chinese and, um, you know, taking the uh, Dragon Throne and all that crap. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.